received the case from a guy. He's working for a church, and he was asked to set up an IP camera system in the church. There's four buildings, the main building, and three buildings around the main building. It's about 400 feet between the three buildings and the main building. The never video recorder will be deployed in the main building in the office with the monitor. But he faced the challenge. There's no network connection between the three buildings and the office. He has considered several options. Pull the cable overhead, but it looked messy. Bury the cable underground is a big project. He considered the point-to-mounted point wireless connectivity. But there's still issues with the point-to-mounted point connectivity. Since the signal from the wireless bridges has a projecting angle and the three buildings is beyond the projecting angle moreover the client want to set up the wi-fi coverage in the three building inventory so we also need to consider the bandwidth all right now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can use the wireless bridges to deal with this case let's assume this is the office in the main building we have network video recorder in the main building with the monitor. This is the first remote location. We still will use the wireless bridges to connect the first remote location to the main office. In our setup, we will use the point-to-point -point wireless bridges instead of the point-to-multipoint. First, let me put this receiver to the office. We can connect this network video recorder to this wireless bridges directory. But we need more Ethernet port for the IP cameras in the office. We'll use a PoE switch. This is the A port PoE switch. We got a PoE port and two SFP slots. The SFP slot is designed for the fiber optic cable, but we are not going to use fiber optic cable in this case. First, let me power up the PoE switch. and use a short patch code to link this network video recorder to one of the PoE ports. This is another patch code. We will connect the wireless bridges to the PoE port. This wireless bridges support PoE power over Ethernet. We do need an additional power supply you need to power these wireless bridges. It's just one cable, you can provide power and ethernet to these wireless bridges. All right, the setup in the office is ready. Let's move to the remote location. This is the transmitter and we will need another switch this is the four port PoE switch. We've got four PoE ports and two non-PoE ports. First, let me power this switch. Now the switch is getting the power. So I'm going to use a short patch code to connect the transmitter to one of the PoE ports. The transmitter is getting the power. We are also using the same technology, power over Ethernet, to power these wireless bridges. All right, we got the camera, so we also need the short patch code to link the camera. This is the short patch code. And connect to the IP camera. The switch is providing the power for both devices. All right, we got the indicators on. The camera is getting the power. Let's just wait for a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. Now the camera is live. It's the motorized zoom camera. We we'll take a wire for the camera to zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. The set is ready for the first remote location. Let's move to the second remote location. We use another pair of the wireless bridges to connect the second remote location to the office. Let's set up the receiver in the office.
the setup is pretty much the same as the first one. Just a short patch code to link this receiver to the PoE switch. Since it supports PoE, we don't need to have the external power supply. You need to power these wireless bridges. All right, let's move to the second remote location. This is the transmitter. We are not going to use the PoE to power the second remote location. We we'll use the DC power. It shares the power from the IP camera. It's the DC 12 voltage power surprise. And we need a short patch code to link the camera to one of the Ethernet ports on these wireless bridges. Now the wireless bridges is getting the power and boost up. The transmitter has established the wireless connectivity with the office through this second receiver. We can see the second cameras on lights. What we need to do for the first location is use one more pair of wireless bridges to connect the first location to this office. Eventually, we will have three receivers connected to this PoE switch. And we can hook up this PoE switch to our modem or router to have the internet access. I mean, you can remote access this camera. The setup is pretty simple. You see, I didn't configure these wireless bridges. Since it's preset in the factory, it has been paired up and it's transparent to the network. They use the VLAN, virtual LAN, to talk to each other. And this device, the IP camera or the computer, they can use their own IP address. These wireless bridges use the VLAN, has their dedicated IP subnet to work with each other. The benefit to use the three receiver instead of one receiver is about the bandwidth. Remember, the client wants to set up the Wi-Fi coverage in these three location inventory, and the bandwidth is important. With the point to multi point setup, all these three locations need to share the bandwidth with the one receiver. Let's say the receiver has 300 megabit per second speed, then all these three locations will use the 300 megabits per second speed. But with the point-to-point -point setup, we got 300 megabit per second speed for each of these locations to the office. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section below.